Yay Star P-Series PBX is now officially compatible with Microsoft Teams. Providing a complete unified communications and collaboration solution enabling your team to work from anywhere. In this video, we will walk you through the solution introduction and the configuration guide. The integration solution allows Teams users to use their business phone number on the P-Series PBX system. At the same time, they can enjoy all the powerful telephony features to enhance efficiency. Users on P-Service PBX system can use physical phones or the native Lancus UC soft phone as desired and be connected with Teams users to work collaboratively. You will benefit from the solution in different perspectives. Make and receive calls directly from the Teams app. Keep your existing phone numbers, SIP phones, and any SIP devices. Users on P-Service PBX system and Teams reach each other like regular extensions do. Enjoy advanced PBX features including IVR, call queue, call routing, call recording, and more. Easy setup in minutes. Alright, enough talk about the solution. Let's jump in and check out the configurations. Before we get started, please note this solution will only be applicable to Teams users with one of these following licenses. At the beginning, apply for license from Yaster for Microsoft Teams app. Find this app in Microsoft App Source. Click Get an Now and apply for user license. The license is required for each Teams user to access Yaster calling services. So submit your application in accordance with the requirements. By the way, there's a 30-day free trial. Once you subscribe to the app, you will receive an activation mail for the configuration portal. We will show you later. Then we need to set up P-Series PBX. To ensure the interconnection between P-Series PBX and Microsoft Teams, you will need to map relevant ports on your router. Then configure Net on your PBX. Log into P-Series PBX, find System. Click on Network, then click Public IP and Ports. Activate Public IP. In Net Type, choose Public IP Address and type in the Public IP which is configured on the router. For next step in the local network identification, enter your local network segment according to your network environment. This setting will allow all your local devices to communicate with the PBX by the local IP address instead of passing through the router. At last, in net mode, select yes and type in the corresponding mapped ports. Next, create SIP extensions on P-Series PBX. The amount is equal to that of Teams users. Go to Extension and Trunk. Find Extension. Create new extension for Teams users. Say we create one SIP extension. Here please remember to copy extension number, registration name, and registration password for further configuration. Then go to Advanced Setting page and Disable Qualify. And move to Security page. Check Allow Remote Registration. Click on Save and apply the settings. Now turn to the configuration portal. Open the activation mail, click the button. Choose Accept. Wait for a few seconds. Here we are. We need to begin by checking if it's available for integration. Click on Getting Started tab on the prerequisite page. Click on Check My Tenant. There will be a pop-up where you can put in your Microsoft 365 admin account info. Then the system will automatically run a check. Here's a tip. Just give it a check on your license if there's something wrong. Well, if everything's ready, click on Services tab to set up PBX service. Go to PBX page. In the drop-down list, choose Yaster P-Series VoIP PBX. Select your country and then, in SIP domain, enter the public IP address from which we can access the P-Series PBX. Then in SIP proxy, Enter the same public IP address and forwarded SIP port. Here we give you an example. In authentication type, select registration. At last, in protocol, choose UDP. When everything's done, click Add PBX. We will see that service successfully enabled. Then we're going to synchronize the PBX and Microsoft 365. Choose Teams. Click Enable Sync. Choose your admin account of Microsoft 365. Wait for a few seconds. 
it works. Now we're supposed to associate each Teams user with a SIP extension to ensure that users can make and receive calls on Microsoft Teams using the PBX phone service. Choose Users. Click Add User. In the drop-down list, select the user. Then put in the corresponding extension info. In SIP username, put in the extension number. In authorized username and password, put in the registration name and registration password we copied previously. When we've finished all parameters, click Add. The icon indicates successful registration. Repeat the same steps to associate more Teams users. Click Sync now. For the final step, we need to configure Microsoft Teams so our users can make outbound calls as required. We need to log into Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Click on Voice, and then click Dial Plans. Click on the default Dial Plan, Global. Then in the Normalization Rules section, click on Add to create a new rule. First, put in the basic information for this rule, then click Advanced. Fill in these two blanks in this way. Scroll down, enter a contact number, click Test. It's translated in this way. That means when Teams users try to make outgoing calls, the number dialed will be sent out to the PBX without any modification. It's what we desire. Click on Save. To make sure that the system can apply to our newly created rule, we can change its priority by moving the new rule to the top. Now we've finished all the integration work. Please note that to make external calls, you will need outbound and inbound route configured on your P-Series PBX first. If you don't know how to do it, you can check this video. Let's log into the Teams user's account and see how to make and receive calls. Choose calls, dial a number, and call out. When there's an incoming call, a notification window pops up and advise whether to answer the call, easy to operate. All right, that was all we have for this video.